Texas now has, as of right now, a three-game lead in the American League West as they, as they are 31-18, and 18, which gets us to some potential first-time MVP candidates that we're looking yeah, at. Yeah, so um, MLB.com and Will Leitch uh, of MLB.com put out a, a ranking of 10 potential first-time MVP winners. And I was just like, all right, this sounds like an interesting thing. Let me look through it. And, you know, there's some really interesting names on here. The the first one that comes up, are you familiar with the Ronald Acuna Jr.? Yeah, he's pretty good. The Braves? Yeah, really good. His best finish was a fifth-place finish in 2019. And if you look at kind of the odds that have been put out, or maybe not odds, but I think, like, I saw a – what was I looking at? I saw, like, a um, an early MVP favorites list. Ronald Acuna was first uh, earlier this month. So, like, that's that's one that could very much happen. But ranked second of the potential first-time MVP winners is the second baseman for the Texas Rangers, Marcus Simeon, whose best finish was third place both in 2021 and in 2019. He's finished second or third twice, man. Like, it's kind of incredible, but he's a dude who is a shortstop playing in second base, and he has been fantastic this season. Uh, to uh, Let's see. His 2021 season, his only year in Toronto was incredible, clearly. Um, but he's been the best version of himself this year, right? Remember, this even goes into last season because last season he just started so badly that First the numbers were going struggled, to, yeah. the numbers were never going to look great. But this year, um, let's see, let's see, where was I? I just lost my place. Oh yeah, career high three seven seven on base percentage. Let's well, see where that looks at right now, because I obviously that does not include today. What does his numbers look like as of right now? Well, you look at some of the numbers in his projected numbers right now. Projected to play 159 games on the year. Projected to score, what, 146 runs, 39 doubles, 26 homers on pace for 130 RBIs this year, 78 walks. Like his numbers are going to be, granted he stays healthy, are going to be spectacular. And yeah, okay, so the numbers still aren't up, up, updated, rather, on baseball reference. But, yeah, 330, 377 on base percentage. So his on-base plus slugging is 866. Uh, he's doing fantastic work. And then, obviously, you could talk about the fact that the defense has been incredible all the way around for the Rangers. Um, he's been very good. Now, I don't think how uh, you look at the AL, and when you start talking about MVP candidates, the names that come up are going to make it tough for him. But if he continues playing the way that he does, the way that he has, and he has the platform of the Rangers being good, because that's always an issue, right? If you are good on a team that is middling, it makes it a little tougher unless you are like Shohei Otani, who, hey, that's going to be a, a barrier for Marcus Simeon to win the <laughs> AL MVP. But with the way that the Rangers are playing, if they can keep this level of pace and then maybe even make some, you know, some trades at the trade deadline, you can have an opportunity to show off what he's been doing as a leadoff hitter this year and maybe possibly have uh, a chance at the AL MVP. And I, what I love about Simeon is, is that he is the same guy every single day. Never too high, never too low. What we've heard is a consummate leader for this team. You know who also loves that? The manager, Bruce yeah. Bochy. Like he's, he's been amazed by the workman nature, the lead by example type of guy that Marcus Simeon is. <laughs> it's funny because Jonah Heim was on with the GBAG Nation the other day and they asked him a question about who would you most trust to watch your kids for you? And Jonah Heim said, without hesitation, yeah, Marcus Simeon could watch my kids all day. <laughs> like, that's the kind of regard that his teammates have for him in that locker room and in that clubhouse, I should say. And Simeon has been a model of consistency pretty much since the first couple of months of last year when he struggled, but then has really turned it on and has continued through uh, the course of this year so far as well. How much confidence do you have in these Rangers? Because I was looking at the latest of the Athletics MLB power rankings, um, which have the Tampa Bay Rays one and your Texas Rangers second in the power rankings. Let Jacob DeGrom get back here, you know, in early June and let him stay relatively healthy for the rest of the year. You continue to get what you're getting from Nathan Evaldi. This lineup clearly is going to continue to score runs. Even even when battered. Yeah. This I'm getting Pretty much, cl I'm close on that, you know, whole legit. Remember, I told yeah, you, yeah, yeah, that's why I asked. Yeah. This is the whole reason. Like, I, like, it's just been a KG barometer. When, when are you ready to buy in? Get me to mid June, okay. And this team has a couple more weeks. Is yeah, approve it, okay? Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, because here's the thing that keeps me from getting all the way there is what we mentioned at the top of the segment. It's the bullpen. Oh boy, 
like giving away games, you cannot do that when you have seen the Astros walk you down a little bit to close that gap within the AL West. The bullpen still gives me a little bit of you know anxiety, but if they are able to get that corrected, this offense is phenomenal. They've got consistency in this rotation right now, and Jacob DeGrom's health is the big wild card here. They become legit if all of that becomes stabilized going forward. So, yeah. And Zach, Zach Buchanan of The Athletic in his little write-up on, on the uh, power rankings, he mm-hmm. says something that I think is really indicative of what's happening is – Perhaps this explains a lot about the Rangers. Aside from a few a few key injuries, almost everything is going well and very little is going poorly. Of course, I could tell. I'd be like, hey, Zach, hey, have you looked at the bullpen? But um, <laughs> th- it really has been like all the guys that have stepped up have and pretty much everybody else like have has been above average in production. And maybe you could say with the marathon that is an MLB season. Right. You can't expect everybody to go above average, everything to be, you know, all positive. And eventually maybe you hit some level of downturn. But you've gotten you've gotten a decent sample. You were talking earlier and mentioning that we are 49 games into the course of this season. Yeah. like We've gotten a nice a nice grip of these games here somewhere between a fourth and a third of the season already. It doesn't feel at least like that to me. Uh, at, at least in my head. But yeah, you've gotten a nice sample and they have played great baseball all the way through that. So Maybe just maybe this is more of like the reality than just they have started off really, really hot. They're going to be a fun team to watch as the rest of the summer goes on. The Texas Rangers get a 3-2 win over the Pittsburgh Pirates. They take 2-3 of three on the road as your first place Texas Rangers continue to play stellar baseball. They are on the remain on the road when they take on the Baltimore Orioles. They have the day off tomorrow. Then they get back on the diamond on Friday for a three-game series against Baltimore and then three more starting on Monday against the Detroit Tigers before coming home to take on the Seattle Mariners, uh, the St. Louis Cardinals uh, through June 7th.